Hi, I'm Ella, and I'm dramatic and problematic. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's not Someone commented that I should read Midnight Sun because it's Twilight, She's but from Edward's perspective, right? I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna start now. Why is this book 25 hours? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Okay, so I just finished the first chapter, and honestly, Edward's internal narration is way 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 better than bella's but i mean this is just stylistic just the way he talks i mean knowing what twilight turns out to be it doesn't make it as cool because i'm like well this show or this these books didn't turn out to be that interesting and edward does not turn out to be a badass at all in my opinion for the books but for this i'm i'm vibing so we'll see what i think I just finished chapter 4. It's <laughs> much more interesting than Bella's perspective for sure because like it's just like a bunch of random characters that we don't really get to know ever after that. So I'm like, why would I care, you know? But this, like, yeah, it's kind of weird sometimes. Edward's still gaslighting, but Oop, I don't know, bye. Guys, so I'm like, I think a quarter of the way through this book. I'm really enjoying it actually. I think if you want to read Twilight, if you watch the movies and you're into it and whatever and you've never read it, don't read Twilight. Read Midnight Sun. Like this one thing is at Mark, because like compare the beginning, it's so good. And then I know there's a bunch of action scenes that like Bella's just knocked out for that Edward from his perspective would have been a part of that are gonna be like more exciting. So I'm really excited. I'm really, really liking this book actually. Like I'm surprised how much I am liking it. Like, I don't know. Am I tripping? It's really interesting to see the dynamic of Edward's relationship with his family, though. Especially Rosalie and Edward. You know, they were meant for each other, and obviously Rosalie was, like, not happy with Bella. There's, like, a lot of tension with that. And it's, like, kind of explored here. There's just this line where Edward's, like, talking about cars and whatever, and, like, he got into a fight with Rosalie about the Bella thing, because Bella knows about Edward. Rosalie is like, and then she ends up going to the car and whatever. And obviously, Edward's like a huge car guy. He's like, oh, no one in my family's into cars like me, except Rosalie. Stephanie Meyer was able to bring her love of cars into this novel and like make her coins. So, yeah. Anyways, that is thoughts for now. I and I think I'll let you know once I hit the halfway point. And we'll see how I'm feeling then. Oh my god, this almost fell. I'm eating some cereal. So. <laughs> Y'all, so I'm like, I think a little over halfway through done Midnight Sun. What the fuck is this sparkle? Where did it come? The, like, where did this shit come from? Like, I don't understand. Since I don't understand. So Edward's family is like so against him being with Bella and it's like y'all are all married to each other and this poor man's single and like living with like what is it three couples like sis imagine living with three couples like they're probably all having something in Edwards there like hearing their thoughts and just like all alone is like should I jerk off like probably not I'm just gonna go cry myself to sleep oh wait I can't sleep I can't imagine living in that house like I could never I don't know it's a bit much it's a bit much like for me for my sensibility like I'm still liking it more than Twilight it is it's just so long it does not need to be this look and like there's a lot of overlap with like the scenes that are like the same as Bella I literally just read this like last week I'm almost done reading Midnight Sun I just have like the climax left so the most exciting part basically and this is basically make or break this book it's been a break from other books that I've been reading that have not been that great but I will talk to you guys when I'm done I will give you all the thoughts a for reals rational straight up review uh, what I think so finally finished reading Midnight Sun oh my god it was so fucking long like that is my biggest complaint of this book it was way longer than it needed to be like honestly Stephanie Meyer you could have cut out a lot of scenes I know it's been like a long time since Twilight's release and Midnight Sun, I think, came out in 2020. I get it, like, probably people haven't read it before, but for people who have, and if you've read it recently, it's like, 
other than that like i honestly don't have many complaints like the stuff with edward watching her sleep is like super creepy <laughs> and like i think she tried to like kind of retcon it and make it seem less creepy but it didn't work it's still creepy like he was still watching her sleep so not the vibe <laughs> like i've mentioned before the internal narration i was really into like honestly bella I didn't even realize how much of an annoying internal narrator she was until I started listening to Edward's point of view because it's so much more like this book I was like enjoying it while listening and I was just like you know time was passing by fast the other book I was like oh my god when is this gonna be over like honestly if you haven't read Twilight don't read Twilight like Bella's annoying read Midnight Sun I literally recommend it so much I do want to get like a hardcover version of it i listen to it on audiobooks so i always like listen to audiobooks it's hard for me to like actually get into a book like physically i don't know is that weird i have new moon physically so um yeah and like i said the whole thing with alice i'm like really interested like alice is such like central character like it's probably edward and then bella who give the most page time and then alice i think or maybe carlisle carlisle is also really cool i just i really like seeing edward and me like and honestly he was like talking about the influenza and i said this on the live stream but i'm gonna stay here because like i believe this so edward fucking died because of the spanish flu which was like the last pandemic that we had like i saw this tiktok i think it was or something where someone was like oh if edward was alive right now Carlisle and him would probably like illegally vaccinate people and I was like why is that Loki true because like he would he died from that and his parents died from that so like he would definitely want people to get vaccinated and honestly like Esme is also such an afterthought in this like a character even like why did Esme need to be a character in the books she didn't need to she just wanted everyone to be in cis heteronormative relationships so yeah is that tea? <laughs> Remember that the Quilla tribe is a real tribe uh, in the real world and like always when I'm talking about like Twilight or anything related to it, the link to their website is always in the description so if you want to donate or something, you can go ahead and do that. And yeah, honestly I do really, I want to visit Forks, like that's something that <laughs> is like my bucket list for reals the biggest thing for me i think was edward you can tell like from the moment he sees her is obsessed because can't read her thoughts smells super good you know i'm not surprised he fell in love with her i'm not surprised he's obsessed with her i'm not surprised so i'm like vibing with it and he's like definitely super super into her from bella's point of view the whole climax she really like can't do anything she's a passive like player in this as opposed to edward's side like he like all the tension is like on his side he's following the tracker he's doing the shit he's killing james and you know it's really interesting to see like when he's gonna save her and like you know he has to suck her blood to get the venom out you know so she doesn't turn into a vampire or like let her die you know narration there was really really good and you can just tell like he loves her and i was invested and i wanted things to turn out well and yeah i mean he's super angsty and he's definitely like super over dramatic as well like i still like that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i really enjoyed this book so thank god i will have my goodreads review linked in the description and also don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you want to stay updated with all my videos i hope you're having a fantastic morning afternoon night whatever time it is for you guys i love you guys so 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 much Mwah. She's a Mona Lisa